I hope this video helps. This is my analysis of the Australian data. Starting off with the high time frame. Okay, after yesterday, or I might say Fridays, non form uh, the NFP market has been volatile. So <coughs> for this coming week, uh, we could see price action or the market recovery from Friday's losses as well as gains depending on how it affected you. Now, this analysis is based on my trading plan as well as my insights in terms of how the Australian dollar could potentially move this coming week. Daily charts, nothing much to talk about. But if we move on to the four hour chart, all right, four hour chart. What we have is we are in a bearish trend, okay? Easy, right? Price action is initial structure high, outside return, right? Break of previous structure to create new structure low, outside return, creating. And then again, we create a new structure low, outside return, <coughs> creating a low low, and then again, a new structure low, All right? We closed, All right? So we have an anticipation that price action could again continue to create, say, an outside return at the zone, and we could have a bearish uh, market moving on to the downside but as a counter trend trader I look at it the opposite way I'm looking at how I could look to get long in this trading opportunity first things first what do we have we have a harmonic move right from initial structure high to the new structure low and if I were to clone this arrow we have a harmonic move coming down to near term structure potential structure which is down there so i'll be looking to get long somewhere down here what else do we have <coughs> we have a fibonacci cluster now this is a combination of using purely fibs I will take my extension tool from this high right down to this low to my a new structure low come back up what do I get right here I get a 1 4 a 127 right so we don't quite reach that 1 4 1 4 do the same thing again I'm looking for now a Fibonacci what's called a Fibonacci inversion from swing high to swing low, come back down, come back up, so my apologies. And what do we get again? We have a 1618 with a 1414, giving me further confluence at this zone right here for me to look to get long on the Australian dollar. What's next? I could take my Fibonacci retracement tool from my starting point here, from my swing low, Go back up to my swing high. What do I get? I get an 886 uh, Fibonacci uh, extension lining up with the 1618, lining up with the 1414. Going back to what I call the if then thought process if price action gets onto this zone, so this kill zone right here, right? So in this green bar. If we get into the zone, I'm looking to get long. Okay. If then, then I'm looking to get long. How do? I, how? What would be my entry technique? 
I would look for a, a double a double bottom price action doing something like this or I could look for say a pin a pin bar entry technique or a 2618 so I'm looking for a reason to get long at this zone again I could add as well RSI look at my RSI if I were to add it <clears throat> relative strength index relative all right so let's just change that to seven So currently right now we are oversold right we are oversold so this gives me further confirmation that we could see some buying pressure as well next we have just from the top of my eyes we have what's known as hidden divergence right there so don't worry about that right now so we have a hidden divergence here which gives me an indication that market is reaching some sort of exhaustion uh, in this selling pressure zone right here. So for me as a counter trend trader, as the market is bearish, I'm looking how I could get involved. Now looking at, at stops. Now again, if then thought process, if uh, let's fix that right so if I am looking so if I am looking to get long on this trading opportunity how then does my risk to reward look like right so I'm looking at risk being below my structure being below the structure so we had price action holding at this level right here yeah. so i want my stops to be below the zone i could use that 113 <coughs> uh, fibonacci zone or you could use an atr on average two range so it's a bit more of an advanced uh, stop loss uh, technique for now but it's just looking for price action to for when when our stops start being hit so for our stops to be far away enough next how will i set my target i will set it in terms of structure as well so where is my near term structure from my entry point conservatively i could look to take first targets over there which means I would have a greater than one is to one risk reward on my first trade. And then if I'm having second positions, I could take it all the way up there as well for second targets if I'm trading two positions. That would be where I would look to take out my second position, right? Roughly at that 7361. So that is how i would break it down and how i see the market could potentially go for for two for the coming week so if i were to move on to the hourly chart there isn't much for me to to look at or do an analysis i do understand that you did shoot to me a one hour chart but looking at the four hour it's much more clearer but if you do want to uh, go with the current trend, you could look for price action to rotate higher at this zone um, right here. So we could retrace higher and sell. But when it comes to risk to reward, um, it's not really much of a <coughs> good trade in my eyes because now, <coughs> let me give you an example to make things much more clearer. 
on it. Okay, so near term structure because structure leaves clues, right? So this will be my kill zone where I would look for price action to turn. So this zone right here would be the kill zone, right? So it's a place where I would look to short at this zone right here. Now, price action can short at any one time or at any one place. So again, this is where stops, you could look to set stops, roughly around up there. But now, when you look at uh, profit potential to from my swing from that, from this zone here, from this near term structure, so this which will potentially be uh, a resistance if price action were to rotate higher. So now looking at risk, if you were bearish, you're looking at risking that much to gain this much. So it's an inverse reward is to risk. So you're risking more to get less doesn't make much sense. Uh, over a long period of time, um, you would come into problems uh, as your system will not have a positive expectancy. Golden rule number one is to preserve capital. All right. So in this video, I hope I have showed you how to look at a price chart. All right. Especially looking at it in terms of doing analysis, being how being bearish and so as well as looking to get long so it's all about probability looking at the first instance how I done the analysis you saw that being long gives you more reward right and less risk but then it's all again up to the market so with this type of trading strategy that I did show you earlier on it allows you to be two steps, three steps, four steps, even five or even up to six steps ahead of the market. And all you just have to do is wait and just adjust your plan, uh, your, your, your analysis as the market is moving. So you know what to do when the market gets to your the, the zone. So I hope this video has been informative and I haven't overloaded you with a lot of information and I hope it has brought value. Please um, give me a comment on this video if you have found it helpful.